So at Zappos today, we have desks and we have conference rooms. And if you want to meet with someone, there's nowhere to go. Uh, there's not a table or a set of couches or a room where you can just kind of run off without scheduling it. Um, so what ends up happening is when if you and I wanted to get together, uh, we would have to schedule a conference room. Because there's nowhere else to meet, conference rooms are always overscheduled. Right? So maybe we would have to wait a couple days to meet. Uh, then we book a half hour or an hour when we really only needed five minutes. The only place that we could meet is in a half hour um, conference space. So we end up spending half an hour just wasting time. Uh, and we didn't really need it. So at, in our new office space, we're, we're designing not only smaller workspaces for employees um, to encourage them to be more mobile, um, and, whether, and, and we're not actually assigning desks to employees. So if employee, an employee wants to, to take a desk and say, that's mine, I'm going to live here, they're absolutely welcome to do that. Uh, but we're not going to make them do that. Um, and sort of the, the requirement that we have to, have to meet, though, for that to work is for there to be a, an abundance of what we call um, unplanned collaboration spaces. So that could be something like a table at the end of, of the workspace um, where, uh, where they can sit around and just be like, hey, I need five minutes. Let's go talk. Um, uh, with small one-on-one -on -one rooms, private rooms, uh, places to get away. Um, and then the conference rooms actually become collaboration rooms that are built around their needs. So one room, larger room might be a presentation space that has a projector and a bunch of whiteboards. Uh, a smaller sort of war room might be a table that has whiteboards and a whole lot of plugs and really, really comfortable chairs because people are there for six hours. Um, there might be a small uh, brainstorming room that, that just has chairs and whiteboards. Um, there might just be a loungy area or, or a lot of lounge areas where someone can just go off and, you know, so to have a cup of coffee or have a beer and just talk about what they're trying to get through. Um, we anticipate somewhere between uh, 30 and 40 percent of our space being dedicated to to Un unplanned collaboration and gathering spaces, uh, where today it's about probably 5%. Um, and I think, you know, we, so, that, so for the workspace, that's a critical change for us. The, the other aspect of what we're trying to do downtown by moving from a suburban campus to an urban campus is uh, actually using the, the, the community, the, the, the area outside of the office as an extension of the office. Um, so there's a side project that, that Tony and a few of us are working on called Downtown Project, where we're investing um, in revitalizing downtown Las Vegas. And the, one of the reasons for that, where it all started, but certainly not the only reason, is we want people to be able to get out of the office and go to a coffee shop or go to a bar or go to a park, go to a restaurant and work. Um, because that's what they kind of want to do anyway. And people naturally are more comfortable in those types of spaces. So by designing a smaller office, um, we're encouraging people to get out of the office. And I think that's actually something that, uh, that a lot of companies can learn from um, is, is that you, you know, not only allowing your employees to, to get out of the office, but actually building a, a workspace that encourages it. And that, that's something that's really, really unique, I think, about how we're approaching this new, this new office.